can tell you for sure this is one of the most local food tours that we have ever done anywhere in the world. Mm. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. I'm just going to have to step on the black thing and you go, but... Oh. So we just met up with our guide for the day, Hing. From, uh, so we're doing a tour with a company called A Chef's Tour. And this one starts off with, as you can see... On a boat. So we're taking a boat down a canal to the Bangkok Old Town to try, I think, like 16 different types of food. 16 different types of food. That is a huge amount. I think we went, it was only about 10 or 15 minutes down the river. But it's really interesting to see Bangkok from another side there. As a tourist, there was only a couple of other tourists on the boat. You really don't get to normally see that side of Bangkok. So at our first stop, zero English spoken here, but we do know that we're going to have Hainanese noodles. And we've just been invited into the kitchen to watch the chef uh, cook it all up. Wow, that looks delicious. This is definitely the authentic situation here. So this is the this is the noodles, and then this is the pork stew. Oh, you chef, chef Stacy? I don't know if I'm allowed to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Just literally right here on the on the canal on the riverfront. Little family-run joint. Apparently, that's the best the best chef in the kitchen right there. This is actually breakfast for us, so. Straight into the into the thick noodles, a bit of peanut, and the stewed pork. Mm. It's, it's sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's quite a sweet taste. The meat, the meat that is always a winner. The meat is like so soft and so tender. You can tell that the way that that's been stewed back there, traditional and sweet and. Um, I haven't spiced it up yet, so I feel like I'm sort of cheating a little bit. I've got to spice it up. Apparently this bowl is almost like a Michelin star when it comes to Thailand. If you find a place that has, oh, where's my finger? That has a bowl like that, with a little uh, signature, that's like a certificate, and you know it's gonna be good. situation is just a little shot back there and the cars pull up on the main road and they just stop just wave the money one of the little Thai ladies grabs a banana bag walks out makes a little exchange and then they drive off with their little uh, with their treat or I think it's about pardon? Drive yeah it's a drive through I think it's about five or six in there they're really crunchy really rich just for an exchange right here I don't know what these guys are selling but it's obviously a common thing around this area <laughs> this one's called Kanam Buang Yan it's like a a Vietnamese inspired dish. This, these family here have been in Thailand for many generations. It's just been cooked over the coals here I suppose. There's all sorts going on there. Peanuts and ginger and tofu and everything comes out in this crispy bun. Mm. So I just tried the one that has the, um, it's made with a crispy egg shell. So I'm assuming they kind of like crack the egg and then put everything in and then fry it. And then I put some, yeah kind of like an omelette that's closed up. And then some sweet sauce on there. It's made from coconut syrup and then some chilies and cucumber and ginger and shallots. It's amazing. We've met with Chef Not now. He's showing us how to do the right way. This one turns it almost like a salad. <laughs> I wonder why you're looking. Hello. Not a cup. 
we're definitely mixing it up. We're going noodles, then bananas, then spicy, then sweet. So now we're on to a, like a Chinese sweet dessert. But it's sort of sweet and salty because it's got garlic, pepper, and salt. But then it also has sugar, onion. sugar and onion, onion and, yeah. and mung beans is the sort of the main ingredients. It's all, they've got a little like this workstation here. Everyone's got the little roll. They just cram through thousands of these things a day. Yeah. Uh, and then they're steamed. Okay. There's chili. Wow. Hello. It's almost like a chewing gum side. Mm. Okay, so on the outside it's like soft and soft and sweet and a bit like um, slimy. That sounds bad, but it is. And then on the inside it's like a little bit drier and that's where like the garlicky and like salt and pepper and stuff comes through. It's almost like a it's a double layered taste. It's quite good. I can tell you for sure this is one of the most local food tours that we have ever done anywhere in the world. These sorts of shoots and these places that we're hanging out, we're not seeing any other tourists. There's, uh, we sort of mentioned at the first stop, there's just no English signs at, like anywhere at all. And the experience just feels so much more authentic. And we're just trying things that we've never even seen before, let alone heard about, and definitely not actually had the chance to try. We've just arrived at the oldest food market in Bangkok. No idea what to expect, other than a lot more people and more smells, more food. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. There's, there's a lot going on here. Underneath is really sweet, so it's kind of like it's almost like a Thai creme brulee. What? Yeah. I'm eating mine. I'm eating mine. <laughs> See ya. Got you... myself a Thai iced coffee. I'm gonna scoop, scoop. I was just gonna say you can't come to Thailand and not have the iced coffee. It's not just coffee. Coffee's great by itself already, but it's the condensed milk in there. I knew I knew it was gonna be sweet. I was prepared for it. It's super sweet. It's amazing. It's like dessert and coffee at the same time. I don't know what more you could possibly want. What dreams are made of. <laughs> so we're almost turning into like an art and craft. <laughs> so we've got the leaf from the betel nut, um, prawns, coconut, shallots, onion, lime, um, peanuts, some... Um, it's the spices. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger, chilies, absolutely everything. Mixed in with the sauce and wrapped up inside this leaf and apparently I just gotta do it in one go. Wow. Alright, we just had to pause so that I could like chew for about 40 seconds. That has got to be one of the most complex things that I think I've ever eaten. All of these dishes are a lot of different flavors mixed in one. But the Thai thing is like this contrast. If you've got something sweet, you have something sort of like spicy to balance it out, or something fish to go with the spice to sort of level everything out. I don't even, I literally don't even have words to explain what just happened there. That was like an explosion of about 40 different flavors. And I loved it. <laughs> By this point we tried so many different types of food we really didn't get the chance to talk about all of them. From well known side dishes like morning glory, deep fried radish and sweet pork with shrimp fried rice. Then things got interesting, we're talking about handmade treats that tasted like candles, fermented rice that could legit get you drunk with a side of stingray and a whole bunch more. So that lady is like the, the I was going to say the godfather, it's probably more like the, the, the godmother. <laughs> The, the grandmother of the of the market. She, yeah, she's the queen. She's the dessert queen of the market. So now that we've seen all the eggs and all the banana leaves and everything out there like being prepared and her whole crew back there helping her with preparation, now we're gonna go back into the markets and try one of her, um, I don't know, one of her specialties. I'm sure they're all her specialties to be fair. So many people think that we put some chemical or some color to the banana that's why it turned red, but actually not. Really? Yes. We use like uh, this kind of bananas here. 
just the small Oh, okay, that's the bigger than the, like, yeah. the small sweet one. Right, and then uh, the way to make it, we cook it with like some palm sugar. Oh, yum. And then it's turned red itself by nature, from yellow to red. Yeah. Oh, you're already eating something. I'm sorry. What are you eating? I'm double parked. <laughs> you gotta eat both. All right, red one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's crunchy. Ooh. Okay. It's like halfway between a banana chip and a sweet banana. Mm. It's like hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Really sweet. It's really nice, but I think the color is more impressive. Like I thought that it was going to be like crazy and wild, but it's a really nice, sweet, delicious mm. banana. <laughs> I have a crispy banana chip in my other hand, which I couldn't wait to eat, so it's gone. <laughs> Things are getting a little bit ridiculous. I'm so full, I think I'm about to explode. <laughs> We've actually been saying that for the last hour or so. There is so many meals, so many, well not even full meals, I feel bad because we're getting these big plates and we were told from the outset don't eat it all because you just won't make it through. But to start off with on the first few dishes yeah. you're a bit like... Pfft. We peaked too soon, there are a few that I ate too, too much. Ooh, there's Ooh, more. <laughs> there we've got more coming right here now. We Honestly I can't even film all of these different meals. We've got now we've got a curry. The shrimp paste. Uh, uh, chili, Penang curry, and no explanation needed for that guy. I'm not sure what this one is. So we're now about to try the dessert queen's goodies. <laughs> this is what she's supplying the markets with. We've just been told that it's uh, an offering, like a nice thing to do for people if you're at like a wedding or something, it's like offering gold. I'm just gonna go one mouthful. Mung beans again. So mung beans in the middle, egg around the outside, and of course sugar because ties up everything to be sweet. There's that contrast again between the sweetness and the mung beans and the two just sort of like level each other out. So even though it's super sweet, it's also super mellow at the same time. 